All right, guys, it has been a very, very long time. What's our excuse? COVID. Due to COVID, yeah. uh, the convo has been delayed, but we're very excited to announce that we're back. We're back. Um, we actually had a little rough draft here. This was from back in January. We were actually going to bring this back, but it just wasn't the right time. Um, back then, it was a uh, how many days? 196. 196 days since our last convo episode. And in fact, <clears throat> for you uh, loyalists, you'll know that the last convo episode was actually just me and Brett calling in. We called in to you at the airport. Right, June 30th. Right, of 20, what, 2021? Yeah, yep, that's right. But a lot has happened since then. So kind of this is our, you know, welcome back podcast or introductory. Um, so we're just going to talk about what we've done. Yeah. Let's get back. Let's get acquainted. Let's yeah. Let's re- break allow the ice us to reintroduce ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, welcome to the convo with Kurt and Colton. Where we talk about music, life, and reality. I'm Kurt, and I'm Colton, and this, this is, is the convo. convo. Which one is it? Red. actually good. <laughs> All right. All right, we're back. We're like really back. We're really back. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and let's dive into this. You know, during that music, I should have been thinking about what to what to start out with. Yeah. What do you think we should start? We've kind of well, got a little... It's weird because even though... We've not been with them. We've probably seen each other every day. That's right. In the past year, so yeah. So we've 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 traveled a lot yeah. since June, just to name a few. Well, we had our first ever All Nation Sunday. That's yeah. old old news. October, but it was a big deal. We had an outdoor concert. Mm-hmm. We had a portable stage. What was that? A it was like a truck trailer. Yeah, like a truck yeah. trailer. Come into the parking lot. There's. Hundreds, maybe thousands of people yeah, out there. All the booths with the different F- food from everywhere. We were dressed in like different countries, yeah. and um, we played some cool music. Is mm-hmm. um, that was the first first deal we've ever done that for mm-hmm. a church? So yeah, it was good. I think it was a good thing we're doing it again. So it must yeah. have been good. And then we had Mid America, and that was October. We're doing that again this October. Mm-hmm. Um, but we recorded three new songs. We did. And one of those was The Way That I Take. Yeah, which already has been released, and we have two more about to come out. Yeah, so we've just kind of been sitting on those. We also have a song coming out. We can't talk about it yet. Well, maybe we can. Well, we should have announced it on. Yeah. yeah. We should announce it. Next week. Next week, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So check that out. But the reason we are... Doing this podcast yeah. now is because you are going where this week? Um, out of town. Okay. Yes. <laughs> not liberty to discuss. Sounds good. It's probably. Aren't you going out of town this week as well? I'm actually going. I'm not at, at liberty to discuss okay. that either. I'm sure it's a, we can find it somewhere. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm leaving today. Actually. Today. Yeah. yeah. You want some? I'll just I'll pour it into there. Okay. Thank you very much. No, I appreciate no. that. Yeah. I'm actually leaving today, right now, as wow. you're listening to this. Oh. I'm going to uh, Richmond, Virginia. Oh. First time I've ever never been up there to the Virginias. Oh. Uh, neither East nor West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. and, I uh, think there's not an East Virginia. Yeah. There's just a South there's Virginia. Just, that's right. I yeah. know it's one or the other. Um, I've never been there. I've gone to Richmond, Virginia, Tampa, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona. Are you guys Red driving Island. all these places? You're going all these places this weekend? This week. Wow. Richmond, Virginia on Wednesday. We got a rehearsal Wednesday night. Uh, we're playing there Thursday night, flying to Tampa Friday morning, playing Tampa Friday night, flying to Phoenix Saturday morning. 
playing Phoenix Saturday night. Got a midnight flight back to Little Rock. Wow. Here at 9.30 a.m. That's a lot of places. That's a lot of miles. It is. You're gonna trying to get status like oh. you. Good luck. Yeah, I finally get those 70-pound bags, though. <laughs> <clears throat> but the other two songs, when are they releasing for Mid-America? I'm not sure. Not sure. They're done. I think. I'm ready to hear them. Yeah. A lot of stuff to do. What else we got? I know... We remodeled our house. That yeah, was it looks amazing. That was one reason why we check it out on his Instagram if you want to see it. You also moved. I did. So oh. that that's another excuse, you know. Not yeah. only do we have COVID, but we I, we were moving. We've got that. We're just kind of trying to lay it out. Yeah. So we use COVID as an excuse, but we also you moved. I remodeled. Yeah. So that kind of took us out of the game for a minute. Um, other than that, so one thing I wanted to talk about because I really need some help. Is I'm having a very tough time traveling with campers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. Um, you know, I've got the camper stage and at East Coast Conference last year. Mm-hmm. When was that? October. October. It bit the dust. None of the switches would work. Um, and I actually flew from there to like Bozier City or something to play and my camper would not work. I had to switch everything with my hands. Okay. It was terrible. Um, so that one broke, bit the dust. I've just been using it at the house to mm-hmm. record. And then I borrowed Trevor's. Right. He's probably not listening to this. Yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully not. But yeah. the first stomp, which is generally where it starts, yeah, um, it stopped working. I mean, it's like probably 20% of the time it works. So before I, you know, officially trash that one, I've got to find an alternative. So – if anyone has access to a quad cortex or if Mr. John quad cortex is listening, <laughs> pick it's, uh, what's the reason do you think that you're destroying these campers? <clears throat> um, well, I will say that I would not recommend the Pelican alternative case at Harbor Freight. Yeah. I, um, I wouldn't recommend okay. that. Um, and that may have something to do. Yeah. Uh, so the $29 case you wouldn't recommend. Um, uh, what's, I mean, Retail is twenty nine, but they have a coupon. Yeah, <laughs> an extra yeah. extra twenty dollars off. Well, Trevor, if you're listening, um, it's call it's Colton. not all the way broken yet. Uh, we'll get it repaired. We'll get something figured out. Um, very you're probably soon. gonna have to get like a pelican, a real pelican yeah, with like the molded case. foam. Yeah, that's they probably good. sell it molded foam the, for a camper's day. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, probably should probably should check into that. Um, another big deal, our big. Thing we got done this year was I am. Oh yeah, that's pretty much. I mean, all that I've done. When did you start? January. So I am is our Easter production here. Um, we sold fourteen thousand tickets. Yeah. The performances started April first and went through the seventeenth of April every weekend. Right. So this was the first time in four years, I believe, mm-hmm. that we've done it. Um, last or twenty twenty. We had set up the entire stage. We did a big build out. Yeah, had the lights up. Had to tear it all down because of COVID. Due to COVID. Yeah, which was also why this podcast was delayed. Yeah, um, we were able to bring it back, and that was a lot of work. I had just posted on my Instagram a video of one of the songs. Right, Hosanna. Yeah. We were doing the taps in it. Yeah, it was, yeah. it's got a little fleshy, <laughs> yeah. um, but it was a performance. We yeah. sold tickets. That's and true. Anytime there's ticket sales involved. There's a little bit of Flesh. entertainment value. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, it I was can get pure entertainment. Yeah. How many original songs do we have there? We had like four, and then two covers, like little instrumental things too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just which yeah. I think one of them has to be changed. The lights are seen. Yeah, they want we us got to in trouble that for that one. one. Yeah. But you know, a lot of the time when you're playing music, you're able to kind of read the room, the mm-hmm. situation, and know kind of what vibe to give off. Yeah. Now. In our defense, we were stuck behind this big wall where we couldn't see. Right. And we just had to come up with something to play right. without really knowing what was going on down there, you right. know. And uh, so we came up with this little instrumental, and um, I just don't think from what we heard from the producers. Yeah, it wasn't hidden. It wasn't yeah. It wasn't the move. Um, so we'll work on that. If if you're listening, producers. if you saw I am, you were disappointed with what the music that happened when I, Lazarus came up. We'll do better. Yeah, if you want a refund, forget just, it. Yeah, no, just no refunds. That, no refunds. Uh, home of the no money back guarantee. <laughs> yeah. 
as far but as we did have the Prague Orchestra playing with us on. Oh that yeah, was a lot of fun. So tell us about that. Well, we had the we we wrote the music here. We arranged it. Remember, we arranged that one intro thing when Dave yeah, yeah. was here working on something else. Yeah. Um. And then like, I had the opportunity to go to Prague for a day. Is that in Kentucky? No, it's not. It's in Czech Republic. That's so, in Kentucky. No, that's in Europe. Gotcha. It was actually a twelve-hour drive from Ukraine. So, so, is anything going on there? There's a few things going on there. So, really, I actually didn't tell my mom until I got back because she, she thought that you had joined their little uh, yeah mer- band of merry men. Yeah. So I went to Prague, recorded. Phil Laster was there. We recorded all the now songs. Who is Phil Laster? He's a arranger, trumpeteer, musician. He helped us on our music a lot. He helped with the arrangements on that stuff. I mean, I wish we had a clip of the musical intro. I think it, I think it came hey, out. We can, do we have one? Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere we can try to find it yeah. and put it in, right? Yeah. Here. Good. Like and subscribe down at the bottom there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, the 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 play was good. It just took up a lot of time. It was like, you know, everything going on. Um turned out good though. I actually recorded it to multi tracks, so really? Thinking about releasing it next it should. Easter. Let some other churches do it. Yeah. Um but that was crazy. There was how many people in the cast? Like nine no, like 700, 700 so in, in cast, cast, and they said like 900 when you include all the volunteers. Yeah, and the camels. Yeah, 14,000 tickets were sold. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Um, so that did, that took up, what, really the past? Four it took months. up four months, yeah, yeah, exactly. So now we're back free again. Um, it's very exciting. As far as your schedule, kind of the stuff coming up, what, like, what are you working on right now? Um. Just working on a couple of albums, finishing up um, one and starting. I got three more for us to start, by the way. Let's go. Um, I know we had Southwest last week. Yeah, we were in, in Odessa last week. Yeah, back in Odessa, Texas. So it's been a year since. Um, did you bring anything back from Odessa? You had the chicken enchiladas? I did. Okay. I, I did not. Anyways, um, moving on from there. Uh 
last week we didn't do a live recording. In fact, we did some of the songs from last year when we did it. We just played them live for the conference. Mm-hmm. Um, it was incredible. We we got this new shout that Patrick had found on oh, Facebook. Yeah. What was it? God Made It Fail. Mm-hmm. And um, we still haven't done it here. No, probably waiting we, for camp meeting. Yeah, we'll save it. Save it in the bag. If you're coming to camp meeting, speaking of that, that's it, like in three weeks. Yeah. Um, June 4th through 7th. Yeah. Um, we'll be doing some cool stuff. I saw the song list. It's on Planning Center. We got some of those already really? in there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So we're super excited about that. Um, that's going to be at the church this year, by the way. But, you know, let's talk about some of our past episodes. Since okay. It's been, been so long. Yeah. So. You probably haven't looked at the list of the ones we've done in the past, but off the top of your head, what would you say has been your favorite? My favorite episode probably would be Travis. Like the first first one. Yeah. Yeah. It was just cool. We have to have him back on, I think. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, What do you say? I mean, we'll we'll absolutely take your opinion. Drop it in the comments if you think Travis should be back. Yeah, and also drop in the comments what was your favorite episode. Yeah. Um, What was yours? I don't know. Yeah, I think Jordan Dies was really funny. Yeah. Um, it was probably really, really stupid, but I feel like it was <laughs> funny. Um, other than that, I feel like Pastor Randy Williams had yeah. some really, really good stuff that in there. That was good. Um, you know, and Matt Ewing. Matt Ewing was Always, a favorite. Always, yeah. You know, he's just full of knowledge. We'll, we'll try to get him back on, too. Um, I'm not sure if he's learned anything new since <laughs> then. I'm so sure. that may be the only problem. Um, let me ask you this. What is one piece of gear every musician should own? Recording interface. Which one would you recommend? Um, under $200. Focusrite, Scarlet, Scarlet. 2i2, probably is under $200, I'm sure. Yeah. Hit your local gr- uh, guitar, guitar center. center. Yeah. Um, piece of gear that I would recommend? Yeah, Kemper. Pelican. Replacement. Uh, Yeah. Under two hundred dollars, yeah. The not the Arbor Freight yeah. case. Um, I would recommend that you get. Let's see, under two hundred dollars, specifically for guitar. I would probably say the JHS Morning Glory. I think that's under two hundred. What's your favorite overdrive pedal? Probably, probably that one. But I like to think of them in like layers, with that one being the first one. Because I feel like it makes anything you put with it sound better. What's the pedal with the bullet? The 45? It's 45 caliber. It's uh, J-Rocket Audio. Mm. So we just got two of those as well. Um, They're just a, they're like more of a high gain pedal. I like to stack it with the JHS. So Kyle Gassande was very surprised in the future. Yes. When um, I told him that you use a Kemper and pedals. But I didn't know how to explain you weren't there. Yeah, so. well, I think it's because, um, you know, the Kemper has all the pre- uh, effects built into it. Yeah. So there's overdrive in a Kemper? There is overdrive in the Kemper, but I don't think it's as good oh. as, like, external drives. For some reason, they're just they're just not there. Their drives are kind of the weakest part, yeah. in my opinion. So that's why we have to go. I got you. Some different drives. Um, has any of your setup changed since we... Well, yeah, we've all changed. We've moved up to the choir stand. We'll be there. Everyone's like, yeah, that's so cool that they put the band up there. But I'm like, in reality, they just moved us out of the way so they could put more preachers on the platform. Um, so on your setup, what all what all do you do on your computer? Just run loops, stem sometimes. What do you use? Reasons. Still. I'm still using my computer from 2010, even though I have a new computer. What do you do with your new computer? Check email. Yeah. There's a cheaper way to do that. <laughs> No, I I use it for everything. I use it for I am. All right. Uh, what would you be if you weren't a musician? Uh, sad. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As far as that would be like your career? Oh, my career? Um, I'm not sure. Have I have a degree have? in computers, so probably something computer. computer related. Yeah. What about you? Probably do insurance. Insurance? Yeah, you'd be good at that. Yeah. I may look into it yeah. um, in the future. Kyle had mentioned the starving artist. Oh yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all may or may not. Did he tell his story? I can't remember. I can't remember. He told me. Yeah. Anyways, um, what was your first car? 
1983 Buick Skylark. Was it brand new? No. Someone gave it to me. They weren't even driving. It lasted like three months for a burnt up. Sick. What about you? Dude, I got to tell you a funny story actually okay. about Austin's first car. It's <laughs> yeah. a Mercury Mariner. Okay. We may have told it on here before, but it's been a while, obviously. But um, we had Danny Duncan and Armando Fullwood here. Mm. Big deals. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Austin is 16 and I'm 18. Yeah. And we rode here in his Mercury Mariner. <laughs> and uh, we're supposed to take him to lunch. And they're riding with us. And Austin pulls under the breezeway down front. Yeah. And they both get in the car. And uh, I'm in the back. Danny Duncan's in the back. Armando and Austin are in the front. And Austin tries to crank it. (laughs) And it will not start. So Austin's sitting there turning his key, you know, like seven times. And Armando and Danny are, like, getting shifty in the back. (laughs) Like, man, we flew to this church. And we got these kids driving us around. Well, finally it started. And me and Austin felt so cheesy. But... My first car was like a 05, which which I didn't start driving until like 2010 or so. Really? Because I, I heard that you were driving a box truck when you were 14. You and well, Austin, speaking of Austin other stories. Austin was 14, driving okay. a box truck. There's actually a picture on my Instagram of okay. it. Um, but my first actual car was a Chevy Tahoe. Mm. It was an older one, but it was nice. Um, my dad kind of hooked me up. And then from there, it's kind of gone downhill. Went to a Toyota Corolla yeah. for a little while. You have a Ford Runner. It's for sale, actually. Yeah, it's actually for sale. If, <laughs> if anybody out here just happened to look. I know you didn't look up Auto Trader or anything, yeah. but... Uh, you never know how you found this podcast. You could yeah. have been looking for a car. Exactly. Um, if you need one, you hit me up. It may be gone. What or who is the best follow on social media? Um, who are you enjoying right now? Mike Burrell for fashion... Courts, yeah, yeah. Um, how about you? Um, my favorite follow on social media right now that's a tough one. Uh, probably Corey Wong. Actually, you've got me into Corey Wong, like, I'm watching all his YouTube stuff, so it's like very he has interesting. The most, it's intriguing, he's got like, so much content. Have you seen the one on the ice rink? Yes, when they're like that, it's like so weird, yeah. But I'm, I wonder, are they really recording when they do that, or is it just? I have no a, idea. They got to be recording. Because I, let me tell you why I saw. Okay, so the one, they did one, one of them I saw. Anyway, then they showed behind the scenes that he recorded the horns in the same place. It wasn't a studio. But he was sitting off the side recording and then he used those horns from that video place in the um, jam song. So it, it was it's just weird. Like, I think they are recording when they do that. Insane. So I don't know how he thinks. Like, he's always thinking ahead. Yeah. Like, he knew he had that other video and yeah. recorded those yeah. ones there. That's insane. He's I, don't, I don't get Yeah, he's, he's incredible. But I think he's so cool to follow because you don't know what he's going to post next. He's live all the time. He's always doing something yeah. cool. Uh, best memory from 2021. Best memory. I can hardly remember 2021. Um, it feels like a very long time ago. Taking my kids to Disney? Or was that this year? That was this year. Oh, wow. How old is Christian? Was he born yeah. in 2021? Yeah. Yeah, he was I born in 2020. a good memory then. Yeah. No, he was born in 2020. He was already Are born. Are yeah. Oh, Lord. Maybe we don't have any good memories. Yeah, probably not. By the way, my son Christian is infatuated with Colton. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're we're pretty close. Yeah. Um, what is your musical pet peeve? Musicians who do not learn music. What about yours? Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's really annoying is people that overplay. Um, that's one, and then the other one is guitarists that just play the melody line the whole time. <laughs> The other one is guitarists that just play scales <laughs> up and down the whole time. And yeah. the, actually, I'll tell you right now, my biggest musical pet peeve yeah. is when people play the minor pentatonic. Oh, my God. Major. Yes. Bass players, especially. Dude, I don't know why. I don't see how <laughs> these are the same people that can sit down with a song and learn it. Right. Yeah. And hear the notes. Yeah. But they can't hear that that flat three don't work. <laughs> That blows my mind. I don't get it. That's definitely my just like. 
I just thought about what you said. Guitar players who only play the melody. Like, that is so true. Like, are you not going to do anything else? No, I mean, think about, like, pick a song like Faith Ever Fear. Yeah. Just play the melody the whole time. Like, you're literally adding nothing. Yeah. Like, you're a saxophone right now. <laughs> No offense, no offense to any saxophone players listening. Here's another musical pet peeve: is when a horn player tries to play like a pad, like to a song or something. <laughs> like, what if Tate was there on aux, just like G E, and if Gabe's listening, he'll know that those that was not a G and an E. But um, anyways, you kind of get the point. Anyways, we're rolling up on our time. So, do you have any other? Question, no, I'm just glad to be back. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad I'm ready to connect with everybody again. It, yeah, it is good to be back. And um, in fact, we wanted to be back so bad that it's like the middle of the night right now. Yeah, it is. I'm very tired. Yeah. So and I'm flying out soon. I haven't started packing. Yeah, yet. you have to go somewhere that you not allowed to Not tell. allowed to say. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for, for joining, coming along. Um, I hope this episode was pretty entertaining. Sh- share, share this podcast with somebody who hasn't heard about us. They can go back and listen to all the old episodes. There's a lot of valuable knowledge. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to bring you guys even more. We have some good episodes lined up. Yeah, we have, a, we have a whole season yeah. uh, planned coming up, so you're not going to want to miss it. If you're new to the convo, this is your first episode to ever listen. Like Kurt said, go check out all the the previous ones we've put out probably 30 or so yeah we've got all sorts of merchandise available i like this really cool crew neck sweater yeah, right here that one as well that's actually at a great price i feel like yeah like i do that, i agree that is mega budget cheap. friendly uh we got these locked in sweaters here we've got convo hoodies the old classics those yeah. are those are kind of a staple piece like if you're uh someone called us the supreme of pentecost oh, i like that and you know that wasn't us yeah and um in fact we may use that slogan going forward but right, no. um the hoodies are kind of our staple item yeah. and we've got the traditional hoodies we've got these cups here just uh make sure to hand wash these things yeah, yeah the uh, message starts changing that's right it'll yeah. just start telling you things well. um we've also got all sorts of cool stuff go check it out the convo a couple people we want to thank erica marks or she's been working very hard behind yep. the scenes yep. rick green he's been working very hard. happy birthday rick even yeah, though it, it was, was January, January 4th. 4th. That was on our notes. Yeah. From January. So, um, happy late birthday. Sorry, we're just now getting that out. Five months later. Um, shout out Lucas and Christian. Shout out to Haley. Jacobed. Shout out to them. Um, anything else we need to add? But Jacobed keeps suggesting that we bring them back on. What do you think about that? It was risky the first time I It was like. very risky. Yeah. And, um, and now they might be more like confident. Right, but you know what? We do have the editing capability, (laughs) so that is still in our hands. But all right, well, I think uh, that's a wrap. All right, see ya.